Hey, Kara Oosterhuis here with RealAgriculture.com. I am here today at Commodity Classic in Orlando, Florida, and I have here with me Matt Olson, who is with John Deere. How's it going today? Good, Kara. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, so we're here to talk about the brand new Precision Ag technology behind you. Do you want to walk yeah. our audience through this? What What are some of the new things? Yeah, absolutely, Kara. Thanks for the opportunity to share what's new from John Deere from a Precision Ag point of view. Right beside me is our new Precision Ag platforms. We've got new displays, receivers, and modems. So I'll start over here on the left. It's the G5 Plus and the G5 Universal Displays. The great thing about these displays is we now have 1080p high-resolution displays. We've gone from a 10-inch to a 12.8 with the G5 Plus. And a great thing that that also provides is three times the processing power to allow us to really have the technology we need for the future. The second piece that I want to talk about is last year we introduced the new Starfire 7000 integrated with scene spray sprayers. This year we now are proud to be able to offer the universal Starfire 7000 receiver to the marketplace to be able to take the next level of high precision accuracy placement with that new technology. One thing I want to highlight for folks with the Starfire 7000 is the new SF RTK level of accuracy. So this gives RTK level accuracy all from a satellite, no longer requiring a connection to a local base station. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and mobility across your operation. A third piece to that precision ag system, we've already talked about the display and the receiver, but as data becomes more important, boat support becomes more important, um, a modem is, is really a pivotal part of that system. So we now have two different modems, the R and the M spec level. So depending on the needs of your home, we can provide you modem technology to be able to give you a, a real-time connection to that machine to support that remote management as we progress forward with automation, ultimately to autonomy. So can all of these be retrofitted to previous uh, equipment models or do they have to be in new ones? Great question, Kara. All of these pieces of technology to my left are retrofitable on older John Deere as well as non-John Deere vehicles. And so this platform is all designed to make sure that more customers, not just new equipment purchasers, are able to, to get the value of the latest and greatest precision ag from John Deere. And why is it important to John Deere that you guys are really evolving your precision as you know, you like you said, you head to that path to autonomy? Absolutely. The, the reason, Kara, that this is so important to us is We've been in business for 186 years, and our history has started and continued and only increased in speed relative to working together with our farmer customers to understand what their needs are and to provide the, the greatest equipment and the technology that they need to give them an advantage. So some of these items were launched like as very, very recently. Are they available on market already? You know, the displays are will become available you know shortly. The receiver is going to be available, you know, for in a lot of places, planting this spring, unlimited availability. And and the same thing for the modems. The R modem is currently available and, and as is the, the M modem as well. So many of these technologies are already available right around the globe. Available in just the U.S., across North America, or how, how does that work? Yeah, these, all these products will be made available on a global basis. So we want to make sure that the technologies that we provide are created as a result of understanding not only farmers' needs here, but we all know that farmers across the globe share very common needs for things like precision, and, and it'll be available on a global basis. One of the things that we're talking about here at the show is increasing levels of autonomy and the G5 advanced license that is a part of an option on the G5 family of displays. So if we talk about fully autonomous machines, I want to challenge farmers to think about how am I taking advantage of the technologies 
that increase the level of automation today. So I'm taking advantage of what's today. So I'm ready for what's coming. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for your time, Carol.